the desperate thrust of a helpless soul upon the arms of an almighty saint. Are you doing what Jesus, who speaks the words of the Father, are you doing what he says? Seek first the kingdom of God. Are you taking every step necessary to stop feeding your life? In God's name, why, 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 why? But you sit through another service and stand by a signpost that points you away from hell and the wrath of God and to heaven and life and forgiveness and hug death to your breast. Full of madness. You are a vile, filthy, helpless, hell-deserving, wretched son or daughter of Adam. You know nothing of true repentance and therefore of true and safe. Or you just occasionally have a little whimper in the closet when your conscience gets so active you can't live with it. And you whimper and cry and ask God for a little help and then you go right back with your hand and your eyeball firmly attached. Oh yes, once in a while you take a dull paring knife and scratch your hand. And occasionally you, you scratch around your eyeball but you haven't begun to come off and cry. You better listen to the words of Jesus. Not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, shall enter. But he that does the will of my Father in heaven. If ye by the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the flesh, ye shall live. If you live after the flesh, you'll die. The cross does not give us a minor shift or two with regard to a few of our ethical and moral and religious values. The cross radically disrupts the very center and citadel of your life from self to Christ. And if the cross has not done that, you're not a Christian! My friend, face it! Young or old, you're not a Christian! Until the cross has radically disrupted the very center and citadel of your life brought you from a life of commitment to serve self, whether it's religious self, moral self, proud self, covetous self, lustful self, prideful self, unforgiving self, lazy self, it doesn't matter what are the focal points of the reign of your self. If you've gone to the cross in union with Christ, it's been shattered. I want you on that day when you stand with me before the judge of the world to have him say, come you blessed, come you blessed. I don't want to look at you standing there saying, Lord, 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 I named you in earth. I named you before the elders. I named you before the church. I named you in prayer meeting. I named you in witness. And Lord, now, Lord, Lord, did I not this? Did I not that? I don't want to hear him say, Depart from me. I never knew you. You went through an enemy. You never were made a doer of the will of God. You learned enough, and you learned what to say properly enough to be accepted for what you professed yourself to be on earth. And now the day of judgment is come. And the truth is now to be known.